This is Yukon Power, the state-of-the-art cogeneration power plant at the University of Connecticut's 20,000 student stores campus. Officially called a cogeneration plant, it went online in 2006 and really is a polygeneration facility producing all of the campus's electric power, heating, and air conditioning needs through the use of three natural gas fueled gas turbines. It also has a classroom. This is a schematic of Yukon Power, a 25 megawatt power plant. With an input of one unit of fuel, natural gas or backup uh, of fuel oil, it produces three things for the entire campus. Electricity, steam for heating, and chilled water for air conditioning. Here is a financial record of energy waste. Before we had Yukon Power, typical of so many facilities in the United States. By buying electrical power from off-campus utilities and using a boiler plant to produce campus heating, here were Yukon's expenses up to 2006. Separate electricity and fuel costs totaled over $23 million in 2005, almost 20% of Yukon's facilities operating budget. Cogeneration takes the thermodynamics moral high ground by using fuel, in our case natural gas, to first produce high-grade energy in the form of electricity by combusting it in three gas turbines that power generators. The hot exhaust of each gas turbine then goes into a boiler called a Herzig, a heat recovery steam generator, to produce steam. Some of the hottest steam then goes to a steam turbine to produce more electricity. This cooperative combination of the gas turbines and the steam turbine is called a combined cycle power plant, which as a combined unit almost doubles plant efficiency. The Herzig steam is also used for heating campus buildings, kitchens, and laboratories, and also powers smaller steam turbines on refrigeration units to produce chilled water for air conditioning units all over the campus. Thus, one unit of fuel in the cogeneration plant produces electricity, heating and cooling rather than using three units of costly fuel if produced separately in the old pre-2006 way. This is a gas turbine, a Solar Taurus 70, one of three that is the heart and soul of Yukon's 25 megawatt cogen power plant. This Taurus 70 has been in operation in the Yukon plant for over 41,000 hours. It has just been replaced by another unit after record-breaking operational life of about five years and is being shipped out for overhaul. It drove a generator to produce uh, as much as seven to eight megawatts of electric power or about 10,000 horsepower in automotive terms. One megawatt is about 800 households of power. This Taurus 70 is about one-third the size of the jet engine on a Boeing 737, such as those used by Southwest Airlines. It has a thermal efficiency of 34%. It costs about $1.5 million and rotates at about 15,200 RPM. The front part has an air inlet and an axial flow compressor that draws in 50 to 60 pounds per second of air. The compressed air at about 400 psi then enters a combustion section where natural gas is burned for fuel. 
the natural gas enters the combustors and we can see an alternate set of injector tubing for fuel oil which can be used as a backup fuel. Combustion gases then leave the combustors and enter the axial flow turbine which drives the compressor in the 7 to 8 megawatt electric generator. The hot gases exit the turbine at about 900 degrees Fahrenheit. These hot gases are used to produce steam to power a separate steam turbine to produce more electricity and to provide campus heating or cooling. There you have Yukon Power. The plant costs about $80 million and after it is paid for, it is projected to save the university well over $100 million over its lifetime. More importantly, during a significant portion of its operation, Fuel usage is half of what would be burned if electricity and heat were produced separately. Cogeneration is one of the most effective ways we have of using our valuable energy resources wisely.